hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that this reading finds you safe. Shout out to all of my Soul Tribe members. I appreciate the love and support you guys. And also, if you are new here and you've been resonating with the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and also hit the post notification bell before you leave. Definitely appreciate the energy exchange. Oh, Virgo, what's going on? Let's do one more, one more shuffle. <laughs> So you got North Solitude. You have come so far. Please don't give up. There is light at the end of the tunnel. All good things come to those who wait. A time of great blessings that may seem disguised right now. You are on the right path. Be patient. Time on your own serves you well. Solitude. So you're on the right path. Time alone. Being in solitude is going to be very beneficial for you right now, Virgo. Um, you probably know that because, I mean, you are the hermit card. So solitude isn't hard for you to do, right? So let's see what's going on. Also, Virgo, I am open for personals at this moment. So if you are interested in booking a personal with me, please go ahead and check out the description box. I left instructions there on how to do so. And all of my Instagrammers, I also have an Instagram page. The link for that is below in the description box as well. And also, if you are one of the first 100 people to follow me, I will give you a follow back, okay? And don't follow me and then unfollow me because I'm just gonna unfollow you because it's not fair to the real 100 people that um, follow me, so just FYI. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. Wow, judgment card. Everybody is getting this card. Okay, so it's almost like the universe wants you to go into solitude so that they can handle some things because the judgment card is indicating that there's justice being served in some situation. Okay, Virgo. Let's see. So we got the Four of Wands, Queen of Discs. The Empress, Nine of Wands, Nine of Divs, The Star, Eight of Divs. All right, starting off Virgo, we're talking about your home, your stability, your happiness. I feel like your home is being judged at this moment. Whatever situation or whatever has been going on within your home is now being judged. This is also your energy, the queen of dis. So I feel like you're protect your finances is protected right now. You won't have to worry about losing finances. But there's something going on where there had to be some judgment caught on your household. The Empress, this is the one that is the nurture of the empire, the nurture of the kingdom, okay? This is the queen. This is the queen of all queens. All four queens are within, she embodies all four of the queens, okay? I feel like at this moment, you probably feel like the world is on your shoulders with the nine of wands. You feel like you're been battered, bruised, or you feel like you've been through the ringer right now. You feel like possibly you've had to do a lot of things on your own or you're having to do a lot of things on your own being single, but you have to remember that you're abundant right now and there's a lot of things that are going to be okay. It's just you're going through this cycle that can come can come off as overwhelming because we got 9-9, nine, nine, so you've probably been seeing 9-9 nine, nine a lot, so it's almost the end of the cycle. Towards the end, it's, a lot of times it gets harder before it gets better. 
the star card is right after that. So healing is coming for you. And also, you're going to start to see why this happened, because this, to me, is also the purpose card. So you're going to see that you're going to use this as a way to test, like a testimony, testimony to others, and also to help others get through the same the same situation because after you go through the healing you're going to be required to put in some work so the universe is going to need you to help other people and show other people the way what's the four of wands high priestess okay so your intuition probably told you about what it is that's going on i feel like your intuition is probably going through a heightening, so that's also why you need to go through the solitude. What's underneath here? Queen of Cups. Yeah, your emotions right now, you might be very emotional at this time. Maybe there had something to do with your soulmate, the Two of Cups. And also we got the full card right here, so it's like, it's really time to just know that you are protected. I'm seeing his this necklace that's around him. I never really seen this in the card. But if you look at the necklace that's around him, this looks almost like um I don't know what symbol that is. But you guys probably know what it is. I'll try to zoom in. You see it? That might be some significant to you cuz I just like zoomed right into it. There might have been people around you that have been gossiping or talking about you. Put put some crystals around your neck um, is what I'm hearing. And one of your favorite ones, uh, maybe one of your favorite ones has that symbol on it. But that one is going to help you in this new journey that you're taking. Possibly you're solo right now. Maybe you did have a partner at one time, but now you're on your own. What's this queen of this? Prince of Dis, and then the Seven of Dis. Okay, interesting, because this, that's the nine all together. So, what I'm feeling is, there was some investments that were done. You spent a lot of energy with this past person, whoever your soulmate was that you were with. You spent a lot of energy, spent a lot of love with this person. But now everything has come to a halt. There's probably other responsibilities that are happening. So you kind of feel like overwhelmed is kind of what I'm feeling. But whoever you were working with, this person is still willing to help you. The Prince of this. Possibly you have children with them. So they still want to continue to provide and give to you. So you won't have to worry about your finances. Uh, the Five of Wands. There might be people around you that are jealous and envious of you. Maybe they're jealous because you got someone that's willing to help you. Yeah, see, you got protection over your finances. The Ace of Dis. Lover. It's definitely someone who still has love for you. They're willing to still take care of you. They're still willing to work with you. This person's still willing to spend time or whatever it is they need to do. I feel like you guys probably have kids because it's like the Three of Cups can be like mother father and a child and plus the empress card so you probably are a mother what's this empress just watch envious people try to put stuff in your ear okay now we got the two of cups and the world card so it's interesting because you're going to receive support regardless of if you believe it or not even if it's the universe, but you have a lot of soulmates that are willing to support you. Because the Two of Cups means possibly even new connections coming in once you take this leap of faith, once you go on this fool's journey. So all this heavy burden that you're feeling is really in your mind more than anything is what I'm feeling. What's the Nine of Wands? Ten of this, exactly. It's like because you're single and you have the nine of this, you're probably been worried if you're going to have this well generational wealth and abundance. But there's no reason to worry because I feel like you're 
you're going to be put into a position that you're still going to receive that and you're going to still be financially taken care of i feel like whoever it is that is worrying right now it's like outside energy that's giving you this worry so you need to watch the circle that you keep people that you're telling your business to that's what i'm feeling yeah see two of swords you need to keep things quiet and keep things away from other people yeah they're it's like they don't want you to see the truth because whoever it is that's a connection to you they're gonna still help you i feel like somebody's trying to put something in your ear to make you feel like you're not going to yeah they're this is the same people that's envious and jealous hmm. what's the nine of this justice card listen you got libra energy here which is balance okay so things are going to be balanced out things are going to be justified for whatever cause or whatever situation it was that caused this to end why things ended we got the king of swords underneath here so there's going to be someone or something that's going to stand up for you. Hopefully you can see through this illusion that someone has been trying to give you. I feel like they're, yeah, trying to keep you stuck and hung, hung up in your mind. Okay, so what's the star card? To me, this is like a lot of mental. Because it's not about the finances. <sighs> Somebody is envious because you're the star, because you're going down your purpose. You're doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing. So they're envious of you, the five of wands. They wish they were in your um, predicament. They wish they were in your life. I, I had a reading like this last week for you guys. It, it's a mental game that's going on, but it's like you can't even see it because if you notice also, none of the swords really came out, but I can feel it, okay? All right, let's see. What's the eight of this? The hangman. And the tower card. This is a thing. They want you to stop doing what you're doing. Somebody wants you to destroy, like self-destruct is what I just heard. They want you to self-destruct because that's the only way that they will be able to um, defeat you Virgo is if you self destruct yourself keeping yourself stuck and not doing what you're supposed to do not putting in the work for yourself not working on yourself doing the work right that's what's going to cause you to um, go through a tower but you got to put up a guard this showed up before I didn't show it but the seven of wands you got to put up a guard and defense against that energy Possibly it was a past person, past people, past friends, past connections that have been tormenting you. Yeah, these people are jealous because they're the two of this and you're the nine. <laughs> so they don't have what you have. These people constantly have to juggle their finances or come up with um, ways to pay their bills. And you have it. To them, they, they figure that you have it easy. But they don't know the cost that you had to pay to get to the place that you're at Virgo. So... Let's get you guys a gem. Okay, Virgo, so you got the sacral chakra down here, and then there's a yoga pose. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right. Although we live daily in a tranquil and routine manner, each moment seems to be intense and adventurous. The difference comes from our perspective on things, which at this time is full of surprises and amazement. It almost feels like we have gone back to being a child when everything was a discovery and a joy. So this improves verbal expression and the understanding of things. It reduces fear of the new and the different and removes egotism. 
So I feel like it's just time to embrace the new. It's time to rediscover yourself. And while you're in solitude, you're going to be able to see that. Black out the haters. Black out the people that are trying to put fear or worry inside of you because they're just jealous and envious that you're, even though you're going through trials and tribulations, you're still winning is what I'm feeling. Okay, Virgo? So if this helped, I hope that it did. Please don't forget to like, comment, hit the subscribe button right here, share, hit the post notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Deuces. Thank you.